officially call our January 14th Chilton County Commission meeting to order. Uh, has everyone had an opportunity to uh, review the agenda and are there any additions or deletions before we approve? I move we approve the uh, agenda for tonight's meeting. Second. We don't have, without Nothing. any additions or deletions. Okay. So we have a motion and a second to approve the agenda as is. Any com any uh, discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries unanimously. <coughs> all right, guys, have you had an opportunity to review the minute meetings of December the 10th? And if so, could I get a motion to approve those minutes? I make a motion. We approve the minutes for the meeting dated December the 10th, 2019. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Has everyone had an opportunity to review the claims? And if so, could I get a motion to pay the bills? I make a motion we approve to pay the bills for January 14th, 2020. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. All right, we come to the public comment section, and I'd like to ask Ms. Gay West to come forward, please. How are y'all this Good, how are Good. you, Ms. Gay? Good. I'm, you just want me to tell you what I know? I, I'm here to discuss the uh, recycling program. Uh, apparently the truck, there's only one truck that picks up the recycling bins and takes them back to the prison in Bibb County. And it hit a deer and was wrecked. So they don't have any way to pick up the recycling at this time. So uh, the Bibb County Commission was supposed to meet last night and come to a decision about whether they would replace the truck. That was a joint program between, a grant program between Bibb and Chilton. And my understanding is that they tabled that last night. So no decision was made. Um, my understanding is that we will, are we still picking up the bins that are here in Chilton County and they'll be taken to a central location. The trash will be disposed of uh, and until a decision is made about a truck or the future of the program, it will be suspended until okay. we find out something from Bibb County. Everybody, some of the previous commissioners knows, we, we got into a joint agreement with Bibb County and, and what happens is they, they volunteered to pick the trash up, take it to the prisons. The prisons go through it, prisoners go through it, uh, pull out what's, you know, what can be used, discard what can't be used, and then they sell the other, you know, what, what can be used. They sell it, and then they keep the money for, for projects over at the prison. So it's actually not, Bibb County is getting nothing for doing this, and they're, the truck is that, that's gotten tore up cannot be repaired. It's gonna take, they're gonna have to have another truck. So there's a possibility that they're gonna stop this whole program. So if they stop this program, we've got these dumpsters that we've got to do something with. And, and right now, they're not being used properly. They're not being used for recycling 100%. They, a lot of it's getting garbage in it. And so uh, it's a good program. It was a good program, but you know, it's, just not, it's just not working right now. So we're going we're gonna to have to get these. Th I've talked to Tony about picking the, you know, cleaning up around the things and getting them cleaned up and get, uh, get the dumpster picked up and brought back to our, our sh county shop until, until something can be decided. I mean, mm -hmm. they're gonna be, if they don't do this program, by, uh, continue this program, then you know these dumpsters are something we're gonna have to do something with. And if you leave them out there, they're just gonna be inundated with trash. Yes. Right, people yes. just, they, they, don't, they don't take it back with them, they just mm -hmm. pile it up. And they don't know what's going on. It's, the right, they don't know. Right. They think it's going to be picked up. And mm -hmm. with only, I, I guess they just really have one person to pick up, one person assigned to that. Mm -hmm. And if he's out, then it doesn't get picked up. So right. it's not a perfect system. It, it, I think it did get a lot of waste out of the landfill system, but um, it just depends on whether they're willing to pick up the tab for another truck to, 
to pull it, and whether the prison wants to. And Miss West, on, oh, go ahead, what do they focus on? Like plastic, aluminum, stuff like that. Paper, plastic, uh, certain plastics, uh, aluminum, uh, any kind of paper. And, and Miss West has done a great job. I mean, this is a non-paying job for her, <laughs> and so she's she has looked after this for us. She's volunteered to take care of it, and and it's it's really cut getting to be a burden right now because these these around these things these cans are getting littered they're getting filled up and uh and we're going to have to do something quick and i i, I think that we probably the commission is going to need to vote to give tony the permission to do that but uh, i've already talked to him about it but we're going to have to bring it up tonight uh bibb county is supposed to bring it back up on january 27th so if i have something to report i can come i'll get back on the Perfect. agenda and great. let you know it, you know if they decide to ante up then that may affect our decision but i certainly don't know Personally, I don't want to step out and do something without them. I, I think we ought to, if, if it's creating a lot of garbage, I think we should suspend it until they let us know something. I mean, do they just going to keep? I think that if it's not a big problem to move those off site until we can yeah. come up with a decision, because they may not be able to make a decision on the 27th either. So, How many bins are there? There are five, five. in Chilton County. Yeah, I think we should remove them for to continue to fill up with trash. Well, we we have three here in here in Clanton, and there's one at Thorsby, and there's one at Maplesville. Correct. And I, and I'm sure I've not talked to the mayors of Thorsby or Maplesville, but I'm sure they will take care of those bins and, and clean them up and, and get them you know put them somewhere, and we'll just take care of the three here in Clanton. Oh, I need to touch base with them and let them know mm -hmm. because yes. I thought that you were going to pick up. You might pick up all of them. Well, we, and know. we can, we can. Okay. I, I didn't know if they wanted, you know, if they wanted to keep those okay. for some reason. So, so um, my thoughts are, let's follow up with those mayors and make sure they don't want to keep them and them, them dispose of the stuff themselves. And then if they don't, then we'll go pick them up. Does anybody have a problem with that? And possibly come up with a plan. You know, Do you they, want me to call say, them and please. find out? Okay. They may say don't come get ours because we're going to figure out something else to do with the stuff that's in them because we want to continue a recycling program. And uh, so let's just let's ask before we go get them is okay. what I'm saying. Well, I think they're cleaning up and picking up around them right now. Aren't I they? think, well, I know Maplesville said they did. They went ahead and picked it, picked up the trash, but I, I don't think it's going to quit piling up unless they move them to a different, true. out of the side of the public. Mm -hmm. so. Tony yeah. coming soon, you didn't he? Or did he call uh, you? We talked. Okay. Was he, he, he was here just a minute. <laughs> yeah. we, we've talked about it. So, okay. um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and touch base with, um, with all the mayors or the town clerks and just let them know where we stand. Well, he was at the courthouse when I talked to him about it, and he was going to come right on to see you that day. So He, he did call. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Gay. Mr. Wilson, it's your show. My show? <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mr. Uh, Langston, I'm just hot or ready to get strips it. Uh, about loving your family, spend time. So that's what we want to do. We want to get this shelter so we spend a lot of time with our family. Yes, sir. So we're here tonight to talk about our shelter for new convert community. We discussed that actually a little bit tonight in the work session. Mr. Derrick brought it up. Um, we've got three of the, I guess it's the last three of that grant money that we're completing. Uh, hope to have those open before any more bad weather gets here. Uh, especially before anybody gets hurt. But he had mentioned uh, working on specking some shelters that are not, um, I guess, federal standard or whatever, that we might could do some smaller stuff that's more affordable outside of, outside of what we've done in the past for other areas, <coughs> specifically y'all and uh, you said South Chilton and North Chilton were both wanting South one. But we talked about that earlier tonight, and y'all are still top of our list because we made a commitment to y'all. Um, who knows who will be here next year after the election? But if I'm here and I think these guys will reiterate what I'm saying, we're going to fight for New Convert to have the first one that's done, whether we do it with this public safety funds or with, with grant money. But y'all been coming diligently <coughs> asking, and y'all are at the top of the list. Man. 
And we had talked about Mr. Uh, Mr. Terry that if you know if the grants is available, we would in, in check on it, but we're not going to count on that right. to go ahead and try to budget for a shelter for new convict in okay. our upcoming budget this year. All right. To uh, to get that and go ahead and start soliciting some bids for that, as the chairman said, because uh, it it just stays fresh in our minds every time I know a storm. You know, I mean, there's there's a lot of other places that need them too. So it ain't like that we're just forgetting about it or anything like that. But we do need to to uh, uh, we are planning on discuss uh, putting that in our budget if we cannot get the grants. So uh, uh, that's right. Um, that area was hit pretty good Saturday, so we we definitely understand. That. <coughs> um, I think our best bet is going to be to, once our budget comes up to time, to give you guys, because we're going to have to figure out how we're going to do a lease mm -hmm. as right. far as responsibility for right. the place and all that. So there's going to be a lot of workings in there that we'll probably need to start again before budget. But uh, if we can find a way to budget, and like we said, we'll try to take something uh, a little bit away from what we've had to do, a few of those narrow regulations. Uh, we'll do a lot of the in-kind work through the uh, Missions Engineering Department, they'll handle a lot of it. So, um, a smaller shelter and doing that, I think we'll be able to hopefully look toward putting one of those in the budget. So, and Mr. Yeah. Terry, what you might want to think and consider about in the community is thinking of a place because what it takes, it takes either a lease agreement or just the land needed to, uh, the, needed to, the, to the shelter. This, this, uh, good for everybody in the community. This, right. this, this, uh, Convenient for everybody in the community. Right. So it would it have to be needed to it can't be a lease agreement. It's needed to the county. Yeah, it's needed to the county. Well, mm -hmm. Needed mm -hmm. to the well, county. We went through that a couple of years ago and the church voted on to deed the county up one acre, I believe y'all said one acre land. <laughs> An acre, half acre, whatever. Half acre. Half, half acre. acre. Be plenty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We uh, so, voted on that. We waiting on the shelter. Okay, okay. so you got the half acre already ready. The deed oh, yeah. to the county. Okay. The church, uh, Right. The church. Right. Mm -hmm. church I was, okay. Right. I just. I, I mean, that was for me, I guess. So. Uh, <laughs> I, so. So. No, that was before you were here. Just remember, um, we we have a sales tax that we began collecting October twenty second, and that sales tax has public safety of one of the, is one of the three mm -hmm. areas that it can be used, and a storm shelter would qualify under public safety. So we, we've closer. just started collecting some money. So hopefully we can we can knock these needs out one at a time. We're not we're not going to be able to do everybody in one year, but you guys have been diligent. I know for I've been up here since 13, and I don't think y'all missed a year yeah, exactly. requesting. <laughs> hey, and it, it's a need, and yeah. you, you got a lot of people in your community that a need lot. a place to go. And usually when storms come in County Road 15, it's not easy to get through. No, sir. As a matter of fact, County Road 15 was blocked. Yeah. You can get to Isabella no way. Tree. Yeah. Okay. yeah. They, they had it the day out of school. They couldn't even they get power get, to the school. They couldn't get to Mayfield over down there below y'all shop. Yeah. They were all wrapped up. Yeah. Couldn't get there. Yeah. You could trap. So we were trapped in the middle. Well, we're, we're going to do our part, or I'm going to do my part. I can't speak for these guys, but I think they share my sentiment. The, the, no. in next year's budget we're going we're going to work with Derek to try to figure out something that's adequate and safe it may not be the Cadillac that that's been required for these federal grants but some of these things might not be necessary we'll set up for it <laughs> <laughs> but something it's still going to be safe yes. you know, we'll, we'll crawl in a culvert if we have to I'd crawl but, the uh, <laughs> we, we need something in these in these communities that that don't have an option right, right now. And we have three specifically that he's outlined, and y'all are front of the list. Appreciate it. Thanks, sir. Thank y'all. Thank you, Mr. Appreciate Taylor. Appreciate your time, y'all coming out. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Terry. Thank you. Okay. All right. Well, we'll move on to department reports. And uh, Tony didn't have anything tonight, but um, I wish I'd said this to Tony while he was here before. Um, Specifically Saturday, Tony's department, um, they did a great job. We had 20-something trees down in the county. Those guys deployed, um, were out to after 8 p.m. because some of those trees had power lines tied up in them and they couldn't uh, move the trees until the power company de-energized the lines. And, and those guys worked tirelessly to get our roads back open. and. Uh, 
there were a lot of other people involved in that. There was law enforcement involved in that. There was local fire and rescue. But to all the, the people that got out and helped with their neighbors and their neighbors' yards and the county roads and the state highways and all that, from the commission to all of you guys, thank you. We, we appreciate what you, what you did. Um, you know, those guys get paid to do this, but it, on a Saturday night when they're away from their family and essentially risking their life for us, Nothing it's something money. we should be appreciative of. Amen. But, um, you know, it, it needs to be said, and if you see one of them, you know, take the time to, to thank them for what they did. Uh, Derek, you're up. Derek Wright, our EMA director. All right, good afternoon. So first off, uh, I'm going to bring up my bids. I received three bids for interactive uh, screens that will be used in the uh, multi-purpose EOC room that we're going to do at the DHR building. Um, I would like to award the bid to the lowest bidder. Uh, it's going to be Information Transport Solutions, who came in at uh, $30,504.84. Um, Everything minus $2,877.84 will be paid with grant funding. So it will be provided with grant funding outside the amount that's already in my budget that I can handle and take over. So i uh, just like to get approval to award them that bid. I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the bid according to your specs. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All the bids came in on time. They were all done correctly. Uh, the commission office has copies of all those. and proof of receiving those on time so okay get that part of it. will you deploy those interactive screens or will you store them until the building is ready uh, put them in service? I will probably have them go ahead and set them up hope <coughs> uh, hopefully they'll push back till we can get them into the DHR building if not I'll have them since they are going to do installs to go ahead and set those up in my office or wherever we can to have them set up and ready to go that way if we can take them back down move them over there um, okay. I don't know what the lead time is going to be. They couldn't tell me until I, I cut a PO, so okay. we'll see how the lead time looks. Do we not need to make a motion to accept the bids mm -hmm. and then make a motion to award? Okay. Correct. So can we get a motion from one of you guys to accept I make a bid? motion we accept the bid. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept the bid. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. I'll make a motion to award the bid. Second. The lowest, the lowest bidder. To the lowest bidder. We have Sorry. a motion to Sorry, award Mr. the bid, the bid to the lowest and most responsible bidder. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. Uh, the second thing on the agenda was to speak about the storm shelters we've done here. Uh, touched on that. Touched on that with you guys as well as with Mr. Wilson about the future on trying to do those funding. Um, the other part, especially for the papers and the public's knowledge of knowing that the last three shelters are in the progress of being finished up. We're trying, pushing diligently. We have some hiccups there, but those shelters are being finished. Uh, the road department's handling a lot of that and saving us a lot of money there. So hopefully we're going to get those finished up uh, and ready for the fire marshal's office to come in and do inspections here in the next month or so. So those will be pushing forward. Um, the other part of the shelters is to start setting up uh, specs and go ahead and get some specs that are solid on putting out for uh, painting the Verbena, Gap of the Mountain, and Isabella shelters. Those three are uh, in pretty good need of being painted, so mm -hmm. we need to get some solid specs. I know we've been pushing it, but uh, you go get those specs and determine if those are going to need to go out for bid or quote or how we're going to do that and go ahead and move forward with that part. So. When the summer hits, uh, we can go ahead and move forward and get those painted. Okay. Steve has worked some on this. Steve, would you mind helping? The specs are complete. You've got those specs completed. Yes, okay. um, I'll so, get with you in the next couple of weeks. If that's okay with you, I'll give you a copy. Okay. And we've and already got some. The other biggest models. thing is just uh, with your background there, giving a kind of an uh, educated knowledge of what you think it's going to cost to do those and us decide if we're going to need to bid those out and how we're going to need to do this under public works. So you and I I'll, get together. Okay. Okay. That's perfect. It. Any questions for me? Thank you, sir. Thank you, right. sir. Thank you, Derek. Sheriff. This afternoon, we'd like to request a resolution permission to solicit for bids for a jail roof assessment 
and repair and for safety fencing and construction at the jail. So move. Send out for bids. I'll, I'll, make a, I'll make a motion that we allow him to solicit bids for the jail roof and repair for the safety fencing. Second. We have a motion and a second. The floor is open for discussion. Sure, if you go prepare the documents for these for this bid. Yes, sir, I think Chief's already done those. Okay, good. Getting those ready. So, okay. so my question, um, while we're having a question and answer, the safety fence and construction, how would that fall in repair and maintenance? It's inside the jail. What we have, a lot of people, they will get out of the cell when it's their allotted time. They will climb up on top of the fencing tie stuff around and threaten to jump. It's a constant thing having to deal with that. This way it keeps people from being able to climb up there. Okay. Just a bad design the way the jail was done, another bad design the way the jail was done. So it's it's, it's fixing issue. something that's already it's there, not building an right. additional no. thing. No, no, it's, it's okay. nothing additional. It's just fixing the problem that's already there initially. Okay, okay. That's coming out of the jail, that jail Yes, ma'am. That, I wanted to, I, I misunderstood. I thought you were building a new fence. No, no. Okay. It's just basically a fence, kind of contain it so you can't come off from the catwalk, but people climb up on top of it and they can get up on top. That's where the problem comes in. It, it, this will stop them from being able to get up on top of the fence. Okay. All right. So we have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Sheriff. Okay. We'd like to request a resolution and request permission to pay Williams and Associates for plumbing supplies in the amount of $4,910.76. I make a motion we pay William and Associates for plumbing supplies in the amount of $4,910.76. Second. We have a motion and a second. The floor is open for discussion. Is this work that we did? Yes, sir. Our people, our, our yes, people sir. did the work. Yes. And that comes out of the jail maintenance fund. Yes, okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed. <coughs> Motion carries. Okay. Last, well, would like to request permission to pay Service South laundry equipment for repairs to a dryer in the amount of five hundred sixty-seven dollars thirty-four cents. And again, that would come from the repair and maintenance fund. Yes, sir. Okay. I propose a resolution to pay service south laundry equipment for repairs to a dryer in the amount of $567.34. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Okay. It, that's one thing we come up now on the dryer. Uh, if this continues continues to happen, I mean, this is something that's a constant thing, and this is thing that's probably about 10 years old. Could we just go ahead and get prices on replacing this dryer uh, at the next go round? Because, I mean, we're just kind of piecing it to death. But like I said, the dryer's probably 10 years old, and it's constantly giving problems. Lipstick on a pig. Yep, exactly. I would say go ahead and price one so y'all be ready to ask us for approval. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, please don't order it first. But I know you won't. So I'm <laughs> no. just, you know, yeah, you know what we I'm just saying. want to request permission to go be right. prepared, yeah. Get, yeah. get an idea, right? And if it fails, we'll address it with an okay. emergency situation. Okay. Let's let's find out what it's going to cost, and let's go ahead and have that conversation before that happens. We Hopefully. can do that. We certainly can. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, Thank Sheriff. You. Whitney. He said that y'all asked him over the regard and the cap T board situation. Um, that there'll still be a local board for all of the regions. The Department of Commerce will just simply administer the funds instead of Jefferson County. To us. To you. Yeah, to this county. No, yeah, that good. makes more sense. Okay. And that we will need to get a letter from Joseph on behalf of the county commission, and then the IDA will have to send a letter on behalf of the IDA. Okay. Um, in, in support of moving. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, Roger, do you think we need that in a motion form? Just a motion authorizing you to send that letter. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to authorize the chairman to send a letter to the CAP T about our decision. Second. And I'm not sure discussion. We'll go ahead. 
We'll we'll work with with our reps on that board to figure out how to word that letter. Um, yeah, they've helped tremendous. The individuals who have done the legwork to figure out the how to misdistribution of funds. Mm -hmm. Um, I, cause I'm not going to say it's misuse of funds. I just, it just wasn't, it's not being distributed equally right. throughout the counties. Yeah. Um, they have got some wording to, for y'all to read through and select from to build your letter for off of. Okay. Well, I, with, with okay, with, with this, uh, commission's approval, I will work with, with Van and Christine and, and structure that letter. Does that work? Okay. So we have a motion and a second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Yeah. Uh -huh. All opposed? Motion carries. Yeah, that's all. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right, we come to uh, commission reports, and we've just uh, tackled my issue. Uh, so, um, Commissioner Caton, would you like to address the dumpster pickup, or do you want to just leave that to be talked to the uh, mayors first? Um, we need to... We need to do something about the one we've got, the ones we got here now, the ones in Clanton. We need to go ahead and get do something with these. Okay. Uh, we'll just go ahead and I think Gay is going to talk to them, give her permission to go ahead and and talk to the mayors, and then uh, get let Tony have permission to go ahead and pick clean up around eight these and get them picked up. Well, why don't we get a motion to to, to suspend our participation in the project right. um, with Bibb County? And then we'll bring those in to a central location until that issue is resolved. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Okay, can we can we get that? Okay, I'll, I'll make a motion that we suspend our uh, participation in the um, recycling. Yeah, the recycling bins that we have, and um, allow the uh, county engineer to put somebody out there to to clean up around them and pick them up and take them back to the uh, uh, county uh, county office. Second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Alan. you have anything else? Mm -hmm. All right. Commissioner Mims, you good? I'm good. Commissioner Hardy, you good? Yes, sir. Commissioner Headley, you good? Commissioner Langston? Yes, I'd like to ask for a resolution to allow the office staff at the road department to work the same hours as the shop and field personnel. Second. second. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All right. Um, for the sake of, of the public that weren't here for the work session, would you kind of tell what, what we're doing and why we're doing I'm it? That. I'll do it. Perfect. <clears throat> the reason we are getting a resolution on this a couple of months ago to make it safer for our road department personnel to move around the county if they started at 7, they were in school traffic. If they come in at 3, 3.30, they were in school traffic. So we moved it to 6 to 2.30. We're out before school traffic, and we're in before school traffic. <clears throat> and we originally left the two uh, ladies in the office to answer calls, but because of the time change and having two ladies there, uh, we just thought it was too big of a safety issue, so that is the reason that we are allowing them to move theirs uh, hours to the same as the men. Any other discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Thank you, Commissioner Langston. All right. Um, Y'all keep Commissioner Moore in your thoughts and prayers. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, can, I, can yes, sir. somebody give us an update on Greg? Uh, I hadn't talked to him. I lot. talked with him. Uh, he seemed to be in good spirits. He was going to try to be here tonight, but I, I don't know if something may come up. But uh, he's getting better. He's getting better. He's just going to take time. He, it was a pretty good uh, procedure, an episode he had. And um, we just need to con uh, continue to lift him up in prayer, like he said. Um, he's uh, doing uh, still doing therapy on his speech and everything. But... Uh, Doing, I mean, the spirits are getting lifted. So Good. just keep him in your prayers and reach out to him if you can. Okay. All right. Um, administrative reports. Miss Sylvia, if you will, please. Uh, yes, I'd like to request uh, permission to um, allow or um, Route 6 Trading Post uh, package store to advertise public notice for alcohol. Okay. 
So moved. Second. We have a motion and a second. Uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? I oppose. Motion carries. Let the record reflect it. I oppose. Yeah. Miss Sylvia, the, the, the people down at Enterprise that called me, did they ever contact the office? I think they did contact the office, but we gave them the same information that they had been given, and that was the end of that. They were really pushing, and, and we didn't we yeah. didn't have any issues with it. I'm surprised they hadn't already done something. Okay. Um, uh, the commission uh, would the commission be interested in rescheduling their meeting? Uh, if so, uh, request a resolution for a change in the date. I make a motion that we reschedule our February the 11th meeting to February the 10th. Second. Due to the election. We have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? So just to be clear, it's a special election for our um, millage for our Scoop. education. Mm -hmm. The renewal of the renewal. existing. Renewal. renewal of the existing. existing. I'm going to say that in two ways. Of the existing education tax that's been in place for over 20 years and maybe even 40 from 40 what years. I understand. 40. So mm -hmm. that will be held on February the 11th. So we're we're proposing to move our meeting to six o'clock on February the tenth. Uh, with we, we have a work session prior to the meeting on the tenth. Will you amend that resolution? Well, work session at five. At five. Yep. Okay. So we have amended resolution. Do we have an amended second? second? Any other questions or concerns? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All opposed. Motion carries. You finished? I am done. Good, good. Mr. Bates, do you have anything you need from us or with us? All right. Could I entertain? I would entertain a, mission, uh, a motion, motion to adjourn. That we adjourn. I'll second that motion. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All